clearly your industry thinks subsidies are important because you guys worked hard for an extension of the investment tax credit and you got it in a trade for oil exports mm -hmm. a few months ago. So where, where is your industry economically? How important are subsidies? Well, I, I can't say anything because I can't market. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I'll take it first, Lynn. Um, yeah. So like a lot of issues, first of all, I'd say he's wrong. Uh, but like a lot of issues, he's right, too. Uh, the sun, the intensity of the sun's different depending on where you are. So, of course, you have better economics where there's lots of sun and less good economics where there isn't as much sun. So you would tend to need uh, subsidy support, or I'd rather call it incentives, uh, where there isn't as much sun. Where there is sun, we all know that, that uh, publicly traded auctions without incentives Solar is being bid at $50 a megawatt hour, plus or minus. The average cost of electricity in the world is 11, 110. Half, it's a fact. So it's over, the horse has left the barn. Where you have lots of sun. So both are true and we tend to oversimplify and it's, you know. Uh, of course, people will fight back and say that those, those, those bids don't include the cost of the grid. They don't there's lots of stuff that, aren't, that are not included in that. So that's a sort of an unrealistically rosy number. Fair. So even, you know, if you look at, first of all, uh, you include that, you're going to be in good shape, right? You have two times headroom there. Second of all, look at the trend. So this is, you know, it's over. It, it's clear that solar is economic. Where you have lots of sun, and then increasingly so, even where you have less sun. And energy is policy driven regardless. Oil, nukes, yep. gas. So solar is policy driven. Big surprise. So we need to get over it. And really, if you look at incentives, cumulative incentives in the world are decreasing. The trend is not. Uh, so I, I think those are sound bites. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the facts are there's a reason why it's the single biggest new electricity generation resource in America. Uh, it's a reason why China put in as much solar in one year as America did cumulatively. Uh, so it's real. But it's com a detail. It, it, it devils in the details. Okay, so Lynn, 30 really seconds, and then we're going to go to the audience. So we have, we have a 30% tax credit. 30% of the cost we get back. That phases out over the next year, over the next five years. I love the concept that it should be an even playing field. Let's make it an even playing field. Ours phase out. If you look over the last six decades, fossil fuels in this country have received eight times the subsidies as renewable. So let's phase it out. And, and you know which source gets the biggest subsidy is nuclear. So Mr. Fanning's not building a nuclear plant without the Price Anderson Act, which is a blank check bailout for nuclear. So we're all for, you know, we're all for the even playing field. Ours are phasing out. Let's phase out the fossils as well. And I think you'll see us get there. We're moving from the 30% tax credit down and our costs have been coming down 10% every single year. We'll hit it. 